Welcome guys to my YouTube channel. My name is uh, Friday Raymond Moore and today we're going to discuss how you can write the nursing care plan. So I also teach student nurses. So if you want to join my WhatsApp group, you can simply uh, test me on WhatsApp using the number provided below on the description. So before you write the nursing care plan during the final exam, you have to understand that there are two types of problems. So I'm not going to write the problems, but I'll just talk about them. So there are two types of problems that you have to understand. The first one we have what you are calling as an actual problem. And the second one, it is a potential problem. So what is an actual problem? An actual problem, it is the initial problem or the primary problem that the patient has. While the potential problem, it is the problem that the patient can have when you don't take care of the client in an appropriate manner. So in an exam, I advise you to write at least three actual problems and two potential problems. So in this lecture, I'm going to give you a practical example on how you can write an actual problem. So this actual problem, it is a general actual problem that is applicable in majority of the conditions. So let's get to the board. So the problem, we need also to understand the columns. So we have five columns in the nursing care plan. The first column is where you write the problem. The second column is where you write the nursing diagnosis. The third column is where you write the goal or the aim. Then the fourth column is where you write your nursing intervention and the rationale. I couldn't manage to write in full because of the small bolt. The last column is where you write the evaluation. So please, in the problem, like I earlier said, you have to state whether your problem is an actual problem or a potential problem. So in this case, we have an actual problem, like I earlier uh, said, which is self-care deficit. So self-care deficit being our problem, how can we write the nursing diagnosis under self-care deficit? So when it comes to writing the nursing diagnosis, you are supposed to explain what is causing the patient to have self-care deficit. And I'm pretty sure that you understand when we say the problem is self-care deficit, it means that the patient is unable to do activities of daily living on their own. So when you are writing the nursing diagnosis, you're supposed to explain what is going to cause or what is going to make the patient to be unable to do the activities on their own. So you say self-care deficit related to, I'm sure you can see in black marker, self-care deficit related to fatigue so it is the fatigue that is causing the patient to be unable to do activities of daily living so self-care deficit related to fatigue evidenced by the evidence you are telling the examiner to say the evidence that is causing the patient to have self-care deficit is that this patient is unable to do the activities of daily living on their own and i'm sure that you are aware to say when you are fatigued you can't do the activities on your own. You require assistance from your friend. So we move on to the nursing, uh, to the goal aim, sorry. When you're writing the goal or the aim, it has to be smart. When we say the goal aim has to be smart, S it means it has to be measurable. M, uh, S it means it has to be smart. M it means it has to be measurable. Eight means it has to be accurate and it has to be realistic in time frame. So when you're writing the goal, you have to begin by mentioning the name of the patient. Or in this case, you can just write like the way I've written. You can say, patient will be, this word will be, should not be left out when you're writing the goal or the aim. It is a key word. Patient will be assisted in doing activities of daily living after or within one hour of nursing intervention. So I'm sure I've written after and within, so you can pick one of the two. Don't write both of them, you can pick one. And make sure that 
you write a time frame that is specific, you write a time frame that is reasonable. And I'm sure that within one hour, you can be able to assist the patient to do activities of daily living. So we move on to the intervention. When you're writing the intervention during the final exam, you say, I will, because that is on the paper. But when you are on a practical area, you say, I have. Okay? When you are writing in an exam, you say, I will. So in this case, you simply say, I will assist the patient to brush, uh, uh, sorry, I will assist the patient to bath using lukewarm water with a soft towel to remove dead epithelium cells. You are telling the examiner to say, you are going to assist the patient to bath. What are you going to use? You are going to use the lukewarm water with a soft towel in order to remove the dead epithelium cells. So this one in black marker, that is the rationale. It is the reason why you are bathing the patient. When you write an intervention without a reason why you are doing that intervention, that is not a point. You are going to get a zero. The other bullet, you can simply say, I will assist the patient to brush his or her teeth using a soft toothbrush in order to prevent halitosis. So to prevent halitosis, it becomes your rationale. It becomes the reason why you are brushing, you are assisting the patient to brush the teeth. We move on to the evaluation. So when you look at the evaluation, we obtain the evaluation from the goal or the aim. You just rely the way it is. You only change where you said will be in the evaluation you say has been, and you copy it the way it is. Then you just add the evidence when you're writing the what? The evaluation. So in this case, you write it. Patient has been assisted in doing activities of daily living after or within, I'm sure you can even see here I wrote after or within, you can just pick one, after or within one hour of missing intervention evidenced by patient looking clean. So this is how you're supposed to write the actual problem. And remember, I've only managed to write two interventions, but during the final exam, you are advisable to write four interventions. So thank you so much, and please make sure that you subscribe to my YouTube channel and you follow me on Facebook. That is World Nurses, that is our Facebook page. And if you would like to join our WhatsApp group for learning, you can please test me on WhatsApp using the number provided in the description. Thank you so much and God bless you.